Hello there, and welcome back to another installment of SCP Readings with your reader here, G. Maron. Today we're looking at SCP-777. There's a link down in the description for you to follow along as I read out loud. So here is SCP-777. SCP-777 is in an area of land spanning five square kilometers located in the <laughs> desert, referred to by locals as the Kingdom of Sand. Unidentified radio interference is present within SCP-777, with the source currently unknown. SCP-777 demonstrates a further anomalous property when sand within the area comes into contact with any type of liquid. The moisturized sand will animate, typically taking the shape of an animal proportionate to the amount of sand moisturized. These entities will hereafter be referred to as SCP-777-1. Instances of SCP-777-1 will behave aggressively to any life forms that enter SCP-777 and will attack on site. SCP-777-1 will single-mindedly hunt their prey and have on several occasions followed intruders out of SCP-777 and to nearby towns. Instances of SCP-777-1 do not appear to attack each other and instead behave in a hive mind, using flanking maneuvers to distract and kill their victims. SCP-777-1 typically collapse and become inanimate if not provided with further moisture after 24 hours, although this timescale seems to be longer and in smaller instances. Sand retrieved from SCP-777 appears to retain its anomalous qualities until it is taken a further 6 kilometers away from SCP-777. Taking advantage of this, a research outpost has been established 2 kilometers away from SCP-777, and research on the anomalous sand is currently being undertaken. Analysis of the radio interference and evidence given in Interview 777-1 indicate that the source of the anomalous events is the center of SCP-777. However, all attempts to reach it have met with failure. So this is a bigger SCP. It's kind of in a certain land of area spanning five square kilometers, which is roughly 1,235 uh, acres. So that's, a, that's a pretty big area. And this area is just a bunch of sand and it's located in a desert. Now the strange thing what makes this an SCP is once any of the sand comes in contact with any kind of liquid, you know, water, oil, any type of liquid I would imagine, the sand will take the shape of an animal. It depends on how big that drop of liquid was. Say it's just one tiny little drop of liquid it could turn into a bee. Say it's a huge amount of liquid, it could turn into something, as you can see on the picture, a lion or you know, anything like that. Anything to match its size of liquid that was dropped. And these animal-like creatures made out of sand, they will attack anything that is not natural in um, the desert area. These things have even been known to go out of the area that is SCP-777 and it will continue to try and attack anything that isn't related to SCP-777. Uh, sometimes there will be multiple animals uh, made of the sand that they work together to kill the people and the intruders from within. Uh, the thing about these things is they cannot survive more than 24 hours without more liquid in them. If they don't get more liquid in them within 24 hours, uh, then they're done. They just collapse and they're done. But if you put more liquid in them, I'm pretty sure they could go for a really long time. Now apparently there's some radio interference that comes from this SCP. And it's somewhere that it's in the center of it all. Uh, they haven't been able to get to it or anything, so they don't know what it is. It's a pretty interesting SCP. I think this one's actually pretty cool. My favorite animal is a wolf. If I could see a, a sand wolf, my life would be complete. Uh, so here's a question for you guys to discuss in the comments. I thought this could be something new that we could do uh, to get your take on what do you guys think of this SCP? What do you think that radio interference could be in? What do you think makes the sand do this when it comes in contact with the liquid? So that has been SCP-777. Uh, thank you for joining me on this reading. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.